when iOS 14 came out uh, and widgets came to the iPhone, one of the first widgets that I put on my home screen was the weather widget. As someone that comes from a place where the climate is really unpredictable and it changes hour by hour, um, or as someone that travels and moves from place to place, knowing what to expect, knowing how to prepare for different uh, climates, different temperatures is very important. So currently where most of us are used to, or I'm used to using a weather app that has an icon that usually gives a sense of what the weather's gonna be like, and it kind of gives me a temperature, a range where I've learned to associate with a certain number of going, okay, that should be in a pretty decent realm. Um, and I use that as kind of predictors or understanding of how I should be preparing for this. This is kind of like what we have as the, the best case right now. Now, these weather apps can go a little bit more complex, but usually it kind of stops over there. The main point of these apps is to see in the future, see what the weather will be like in the future and kind of through that get, a, get an understanding of it and hopefully be able to prepare. Now imagine what weather could look like, a weather prediction. You're not really predicting as the user, but imagine if your weather app <clears throat> didn't sit on an app. It didn't just have icons and numbers that try to convey to you what the weather is like. Because there's a very big difference between seeing 30 degrees Celsius and a nice sun, and then walking outside in an hour to when it is, you know, that 30 degrees and that icon sun, and actually walking outside and feeling the heat, you know, seeing the sky, you know, seeing the sun and the shadows and really getting that sense. It's very, very different. Imagine if with augmented reality, now I know you knew this was coming, uh, it's probably in the title somehow. Um, imagine if with augmented reality, we're not just showing you those icons, but we're changing your entire reality to reflect what it looks like in the future. Pretty much like predicting your, your, your time traveling, you're living in the future. So imagine if it's about to rain in about an hour and I'm not getting my information through an icon. I look outside and the entire sky darkens. The clouds become gray and then rain starts falling. And I can look at the pool outside and I could see the drops actually hitting the pool, making ripples. It's incredibly lifelike. And it's something that's happening just outside the window. It's something that I can see, and I feel that this is exactly what's happening. Everything darkens, and you feel the mood. It's not an icon. It's not a number. It's a feeling. You actually, your reality changes to it. Imagine snow. Because it's augmented reality, not only can you see that snow fall around you, and maybe even build up if you could like run into a little bit of a time lapse. But you could see that fall onto the ground. You could put your arm out and have little snowflakes fall onto it and actually vaporize, melt on your hands. You could get incredibly lifelike and you could go very, very far with it. But the point is not so much as how lifelike or how far you can go with it. The point that I, see this happening or what I would, because this is cool to think about it, but the real thing is if you could really get a sense and you could really feel what that temperature is going to be like, right? Like, like in your skin, you can actually much better prepare for it, right? If you, if you look outside and it looks hot, but you open the door and you're greeted with a gust of like freezing cold air, it's a very, very different feeling, you know, than seeing, um, nor you know, the wind is northwest and a hundred and fifty like degree. Like, it's a very, very different sense, a very, really, very different feeling, and you. <laughs> it's just something like I, I was trying to imagine it. Like this is going back years ago. I, years ago when we built this, this, this was actually like the first app that I actually built for our glasses. Um, Back then, I even I started with actually putting the degrees, uh, like the weather degrees, up in the sky, and the concept to actually it was built on a, the th a three layer concept, which I don't know if actually is going to fit into this month. 
Um, may, oh, I don't know, maybe there's too many things. But it, it was in this concept of the three layers and how you, um, a better way of organizing the three, uh, the augmented world, um, as opposed to the way that we used to now in applications and windows and things like that. Um, but it was using that concept of being from outdoors and the concept of when you look up, when you look up at the sky, what are you really looking for? And what do we assume from the operating system, from this augmented reality world, that your intentions are? What do we think you want so we can serve it to you, right? So nowadays, if you want a weather app, your phone doesn't know you want a weather app. If you just open up your phone, you might want a lot, a tons of things. But if you're sitting outside or if you're inside and you look out the window and you look up at the sky, we can kind of deduce that you're interested in something about weather or about climate or something like that. There might be a few other things, but we can, we can kind of assume. So let's paint that for you. So we look up, we look outside, we look out the window, and the entire sky changes, right? Um, or we see the degrees up there. So that concept is more like, you know, raising your, you know, looking up, looking outside, looking through the window, and, and that would trigger this weather app. Um, the other concept would be, th there's different ways of, of triggering it, of opening it up, but that was where the concept stemmed from, this three layer concept. Um, but it's just this, the way I was just visualizing it back then was, imagine you're, you're about to get off a, on a plane, right? And this actually happened to me a couple of years ago. I was living in, in, in LA, where the weather's not unpredictable at all. It's very, very predictable. It's gorgeous. The entire time, you're walking around in, in, in shorts and a t-shirt. And I was flying to New York and someone, I, th I think someone had told me there was a blizzard or there was some snow. And in the back of my mind, I, I, I heard it. But that's it. Like I didn't really, really consider it. Now I did pack for a bit of snow, but because I'm not used to being in that area and I didn't have a really sense of it, um, I packed very lightly. It ended up that <laughs> whatever. It, it ended up that my that um, my luggage that didn't make it through, and I and I walked off the plane and I, I came into New York <laughs> wearing a t-shirt, shorts, and thongs, and everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy because everyone's like. There's a blizzard that's supposed to hit in about like three hours. And boy, did that hit. Um, anyways, I don't know if looking at a weather app would have predicted this, but imagine if I would have been in LA before boarding, the plot, boarding my flight and you know, getting ready to pack. And I look outside you know, and the sky darkens and snow starts coming down. And who knows, maybe in the future with some of these other sensors, these other haptics, and like I was saying, if you remember in some of the other videos, that augmented reality is not just going to be just for the visual, or even from the audio, it's the five senses. You're gonna feel it in every way. So you might even actually get a feeling of cold or hitting you in certain places. But even if, you, even if the sky darkened and snow started coming around you and it started piling up, I think I would have had a very different um, sense of urgency rather than just opening up a weather app or maybe just hearing in passing that it's going to be cold and snowing and blizzard. Um, I can't speak for everybody, and maybe other people are much better prepared than I, I am and I was. Um, yeah, I think that was kind of the, uh, the inspiration behind this, um, where the entire reality around you actually morphs and changes into giving you that information, where you feel it, and you don't just, uh, you don't just know it, but it has a bit more, yeah. Anyways, that was the weather app in augmented reality. Um, I thought it would be short, but we're nearly at nine minutes, so I'm going to tell you guys at this point that I'll see you later, and I'll see you in the future.